Hi, welcome to Karma Houdini Gaming. Today we'll be talking about Little Noah, Scion of Paradise. Little Noah, Scion of Paradise is a cute little action RPG roguelite developed by Psy Games, which was released on PC, Nintendo Switch, and PlayStation 4 on June 28th, 2022. I'm reviewing the Nintendo Switch version, by the way, which I picked up after seeing the game highlighted during a Nintendo Direct that aired the same day the game came out. First off, let's talk about the art style and the music. The art direction is cute and charming, with vibrant colors and cute enemy and character designs. One of the main character designers here is Akihiko Yoshida. Yoshida is known for his many designs in Square Enix games, such as Final Fantasy XII, Bravely Default, Nier Automata, and many more. The music is also wonderful, having been composed by Hitoshi Sakimoto, who is most well known for composing the soundtracks for Final Fantasy XII and Final Fantasy Tactics. Seems like Psy Games decided to hire on a bunch of Square Enix veterans for this project, huh? There's technically a story in this game, but it's not much more than window dressing to provide context for what you're doing. Basically, you play as a female alchemist named Noah Little, whose goal is to find the whereabouts of her missing father. In Little Noah, your goal is to reach the end of the dungeon, which you can take different routes through, while fighting and defeating enemies and bosses along the way. You will almost certainly need more than a few attempts to achieve this, however as you will need to spend mana points, which you get by progressing through the dungeon, on your airship, which serves as the home base for this game. When you die in the dungeon, you do not lose mana, but you do lose any accessories and lily puts that you were carrying at the time of your death. Lily puts are basically little minions that Noah commands in battle. Almost all your attacks are performed by the lily puts, which you control by either pressing the standard attack button, or by using their unique skills with the skill attack button. Noah herself has some actions such as jumping, dodging, and something called an Aether Thrust, which is basically a move that lets her zip quickly to an enemy to damage them and keep combos going, or to avoid enemy attacks herself. Gameplay is fun, fluid, responsive, and fast-paced. The controls are incredibly simple, but you have various actions you can take, and the lineup of your attackers, the Lilliputs, is up to you, so you can create different sequences of attacks for different combos based on your preference or needs. On normal mode, I felt the difficulty of the game was pretty well balanced. This game isn't super hard on the standard difficulty, but there's definitely a challenge, and you will need to pay attention and learn enemy and boss attack patterns to stay alive. Unlocking more benefits and upgrades at the airship home base between runs also goes a long way to improving your chances of making it to the final boss and beating them. The sense of progression you get each time you attempt to run through the dungeon really makes you feel like you have a better chance of getting further each time you die. Once you complete your first run, you can continue playing in order to max out the airship upgrades, play on hard mode, or whatever self-imposed challenges you may come up with. I want to say it took me about 17 hours to beat the final boss for the first time. Each run through the dungeon never took me more than an hour and a half, and once you've got enough upgrades and familiarity with the game, you can easily fly through the entire dungeon in one hour. I've yet to try out the hard mode, but once I finish upgrading the airship, which I'm nearly done with, I'll definitely bump up the difficulty and see how that goes. So if you like roguelites or action RPGs, this is definitely a must-buy. It's only $15, and you can easily have more than 20 hours of fun with it. Even if you've never played a roguelite or rogue anything game before, I think this game serves as a great entry point for newcomers to the genre. I myself haven't played that many. Be sure to subscribe for more videos about games and stuff. Thanks for watching. This has been Karma Houdini Gaming. I'll see you around.